Hey Natural Skin Warriors and welcome to day six with only one more day to go. And today we're gonna to cover three different exercises actually because we're covering more of the eye area and just above. Not quite the forehead just yet, we're just gonna concentrate on the eye area. And I also wanna to talk to you about uh, face scrubs and masks and when I use each one. So I use a face scrub and I probably do this once every two weeks or if I feel I'm going to build up a dry skin so that's that's the reason why I do it I use this face smoothing brightening polish and it's really really amazing it's got acabari extract macadamia oils bamboo silica and it's the fruity smelling face mask of all time and what I like about it is that some of them face masks you've got like the grainy bits few and far between you don't really feel like you're getting that good scrub this you really do so I use this once every two weeks or maybe a little bit, um, not as often, depends. If I get lots of dry skin around my nose, that's when I'll use it. So I don't actually use this very often. This will last me about three or four months. And what I do, I just use a very small amount, put it on my hand here. And then what I would do is dab a bit and I put it in all different spots here. And then I would slowly show you on here, moisturize it round and it's, it's very buttery and creamy and honestly I wish you could get smells through the video because this smells so citrusy and amazing and it's very very it's both a scrub and moisturizer so I've, I've rubbed this in on my face but I have concentrate on areas around my nose the most anywhere I get particularly dry skin I leave it for a little bit and then I, I wash it I wipe a little bit off to get more of the scrub and then I wash it off that's how I do my face scrub and again, once you've done it and you've wiped it off, oh my goodness, it leaves your skin so soft. I mean, that's just on my hand and you can see the shine that it's left. And so it almost feels like you wouldn't want to moisturize after, but I recommend moisturizing. And the other thing I want to cover is face masks because people ask me when do you use them, what type of masks do you use? So I have three different masks. I've got a face lift one, which I use for if I want around my eye area, anywhere that I want lifting and toning. And what I like about this is it's got agave nectar in it, turmeric and, and sea buckthorn extract. So you can get a bit of a tingle from it. You can definitely feel it typing. So all of these face masks are literally like a workout for your face. I've talked about this before. So I use a face lift one. I also use a clear skin one, a blemish fighting mask, and this has spirulina, willow bark, and ginger extracts. And this one I would use just on blemishes. If I'm really blemished and it's that time of the month, for example, I would apply this everywhere. What I tend to do is mask mapping, which I'll tell you about in a second. And the last one I have is a deep hydration, soothing, cooling mask. Now you don't need all these masks, it depends on your skin type. I like a, a, a lot of choice and to rotate products depending on how my skin's feeling. So this one I only use on my dry areas. So when I mask map, and mask mapping is when you use a combination of masks for different areas. I would apply the facelift one around here, above here, here, forehead, on my neck, anywhere, anywhere where you think you're aging or would age more, and any area you want to tighten and lift, that's where I use it. So for me, it's forehead, eyes, chin, and my neck. And then I then apply uh, the areas I get blemished the most. So I'm normally for me, I put it on my chin, and I put it here on my cheeks. I'd have the facelift one under my eye and around, and the deep hydration one for um, dry skin in particular is the one I put just over my nose and I just leave it on there and this is this mask goes on more like a cream so I'll show you what these look like and then we'll do today's exercises so the facelift one put it on my nudie polished skin it's a lovely yellowy color and that's because of the tamarind and that honestly when you take that off you can feel it working it smells amazing it smells like a creamy smell I, can't, I can never describe the smell but it smells lovely I put that on and now I leave that um, to set for 20 minutes. I leave them all for 20 minutes. Put that on my areas that I want to lift. And then I would do my blemish control. So that would be on my chin and cheeks. And I do that and I do a mask once a week or once every two weeks. Um, I like to do it on a Sunday so it's a little bit of a treat for me. And I really enjoy doing it because they smell nice and make your skin feel good. So that's how the blemish one goes on. And that's got a more earthy, natural smile. I also love it, the spirulina. And that's what I put on my blemishes. And then I would use the soothing, cooling one, the extra hydration for mainly my nose. That's pretty much the only place I get dry skin on. It smells like, oh, it just smells so good. Yogurt, like berry yogurt, beautiful. Really, really nice. All of these are absolutely 
amazing. And this is the one that I would put only on my nose. So that's what they look like. And with this mask, unlike the other two masks, my combination of them, this one is a, um, it goes on like a moisturiser, like a thick moisturiser that you just leave on. So it doesn't really set or harden like a typical mask does. Um, and it's more hydrating than the other two. So I use all three in rotation. I don't always mass map, but when I feel like my face is a little bit combination of all of everything, I, I do, I do do that. Um, so I wanted to cover that section so you know about face scrubs and face masks. And now, now I'm wiping this off my hand, it's time to go through our exercise for today. And they are eye exercises. And you're gonna start with just opening and closing your eyes. It's very simple, but this is what I don't want you to do. I don't want you to do this. I don't want you to tense too much, I don't want to scrunch your forehead. So what I want you to do, it's very exaggerated, I know, but sometimes when you ask people to close their eyes, they go like that. I don't want you to do that, I want you to relax your face, take deep breaths, relax, let your facial muscles just relax everywhere, and then you're going to open and close. When you close, just slightly push your eyelids down. It's hard to explain. Not this, just that way, so you're lengthening. Open, lengthen. And as you do it, you pull your eyes roll backwards as you tighten your eyelids. So I did 10 of those. And that was my feel a bit strange. So now we're going to do an eye lift hold. So what you're going to do is on the corner here, place one finger up just above your eyebrow and one here. And you're going to lift up, don't scrunch your forehead forward, lift up. And you're going to hold so you can stretch your eyes out and then hold and push down for about 10 seconds. You can do that three times. Try not to scrunch your forehead so you don't want to push in. So lift slightly up. And then down and the last exercise we're going to do pulses here which is particularly for this area so along your eye here you're going to hold here and slightly pull and you're going to, as if you as if you want to wink that's a very hard thing to do actually when you come to do it you try and do it without and now hold down here so follow your eye around hold and squeeze here So you're going to repeat that on both sides, 10 on each. Do each exercise once through, add it to your other exercises that you've got to do. And I will see you tomorrow for day seven and put a whole summary of all these exercises together so you can simply follow along. I'll see you then.